Hello, Salem. I'm your mayor, Chuck Bennett. This week, I have Salem Police Chief Jerry Moore here so we can talk about recent activities in our city. But before we speak to the chief, I want to remind you that the Salem City Council meetings are continuing remotely. You can find the agenda on the city website and provide your testimony in writing. Watch for us on CT CCTV and live on YouTube June 8th at 6 p.m. Remember that the city website is also a resource with a variety of services and programs. Now, let's take some time and visit with Chief Moore. So Chief, it's been a long week. Uh, how's everybody holding up? Uh, I, I mean, just generally, the community, the folks that are in the streets, and particularly the department, the, yeah. uh, the officers in the street. Right. How's it going? Well, I, I don't, uh, there's no mystery here. The, uh, this community is hurting just like uh, the rest of the nation is hurting. And uh, I think people are um, wanting to get out and have their voices heard and uh, let, let the world know how they feel. And I think that's important. It's part of healing, and uh, we we certainly support that. Um, as you know, Mayor, we've uh, we've had a variety of protests and uh, marches and such. Uh, we've had some good. We've had some bad. Yeah. And um, but uh, we've uh, dealt with those, and uh, I can talk about those a little bit. But in answer to your uh, question, I think it's. Um, it's, it's a first for our organization where we've gone night after night after night yeah. uh, with the concerns of uh, some unrest in the community. So uh, uh, we're beat up and we're tired and a lot of our people are exhausted, but um, we got good people and they keep coming back. Yeah, yeah. I ran into an officer downstairs uh, coming to our, our meeting and he had a real positive, this too shall pass, everything's right. okay, I'm right. feeling good about my job and about the department. Uh, one of the things uh, you and I both uh, hear about are, are real questionings about our officers, their sort of attitude and training. And, mm -hmm. and I've gotten a number of suggestions. I've shared them with you. Uh, I, I just sort of be interested in it. I think folks would be interested in how, how the officers are trained, uh, kind of the, the really uh, I think very interesting reality that everything I've seen so far we do. Well, yeah, and uh, I, I don't know if um, I, I haven't seen all of the the suggestions and, and such, but many of them that I see. Um, uh, you and I, uh, you sent one to me, and I responded to a gentleman. Yeah, um, and it was clear um, he appreciated the response, but it, we explained exactly how we train and exactly what we do. Um, there are so many things in the police world that you have to train on, yeah. yet I think we stay up on uh, best practices and current events, and um, we are an evolving agency. We, we watch what happens around the country. Uh, I attend uh, chiefs conferences, uh, both nationally and in Oregon, and our training is always um, focusing on current issues and what we see the, that we need in the world of policing. Uh, in, in general, I would say um, this department is very well trained and I think we're uh, up to date. I mean, people say, well, have you ever had de-escalation de training? Yeah. Uh, I've had de-escalation training for 43 years because I do it every day, yeah. yet we bring in, uh, in de-escalation now into all of our, uh, regardless of what our training is, we talk about that. And so um, I just use that as one example. How about bias? Uh, that's one that right. uh, no matter where people are on the, the scale of, of whatever the event yeah. can be rated on, right. uh, there's always a sense of kind of a bias. Right. Uh, how, do you, how do you all deal with that question? Right. Well, uh, that question surfaced years ago after Ferguson. Yeah. Quite frankly, and um, I've told this story many times, and I'll, I will make it quick. But I was invited to a, uh, a, a church service with the um, the pastors of the Black Community Churches, all of them, and uh, myself and Deputy uh, Chief Miller went, attended, and it was a, it was incredible. Uh, it was an incredible uh, service. 
they called it a service of healing, which is kind of what we need here today in our world. Uh, and, we, and we developed some incredible relationships. Uh, from that, uh, I recognized we need to have some brutal, honest conversations yeah. uh, this, with the, the, uh, the black pastors. And so I invited them to our in-service training. So for eight weeks, they came out and met with our officers and our staff. Uh, and we had, we had the tough talks. What's it like to be black in Salem? Uh, what's it like to be driving while black? We asked the officers, uh, what's it like when the race card? And it was just an incredibly honest dialogue back and forth. Wow. So we talk about bias. Um, I think everybody in the world has biases, mm -hmm. but as police officers, we have to control. Uh, we have to control that and make sure that our policing isn't um, being influenced by our any biases that we might have. We talk about it all the time. We talk about the perception of bias, and so uh, it's not. It's not something we ignore. We take it on. Uh, uh, face to face, and uh, and we deal with it. So I think that's been important for us. I, I really appreciate that because that seems to be at the absolute heart of what's going on right. uh, now, uh, as a result of the event of the death of Mr. Uh, Floyd, Floyd in, in right. Minneapolis and the way it occurred. Um, where do we go from here? Right. Uh, we've we've now spent a week. Uh, both uh, protesting, dealing with protesting, uh, really all of us, I think, just almost universally, uh, having a heartfelt uh, sadness about what has happened with, uh, particularly with uh, other cities. Where, do, where does Salem go right. from here? Well, we have a history in Salem. Uh, we ha we, we've had marches forever. Uh, and uh, our history is, if you want to march or you want to protest, get in touch with us. We'll take care of you. We will protect the route. We will uh, try and um, uh, divert traffic for you. We'll, we'll keep you safe if you're going to be marching. Um, last Saturday and Sunday, quite frankly, we didn't have that. We didn't have an organizer that came to us. And so it just is a, a group that comes it, it, together. It, was, it, it happened to be a group. Uh, Monday, uh, we had an organizer. Greg was the organizer of that. Tuesday uh, was John, mm -hmm. and uh, we we are continuing to work with them. And if people want to march or protest or um, have their feelings heard, uh, I would say get in touch with us. We will do everything we can so that you have a safe, lawful, peaceful protest. Great. And uh, I think that's what this community has all always well, been about. Well, that's certainly been my experience uh, since the marches of the 1960s that were occurring here. <laughs> I don't so. remember those. Well, I do. I actually was in a couple of them. And I, uh, uh, it, this has always been a, a, a community that, that allowed or welcomed uh, uh, open discussion of uh, complex right. and difficult issues. Right. And I uh, just as the mayor, want to thank you and your department for the way you have handled uh, what is a, a very charged situation, driven in a context of national events. Right. Uh, and I think you all have done a, a really remarkable job. So thank you. Thank you and the department. Thank you. And thank you very much for uh, joining the chief and I this morning. And uh, have a great, uh, great day.